Based on the success of your culture, what advice would you give other companies that might be established in wanting to build culture with their teams? So I think the first thing is, is definitely leading by example. And uh, if, if my team can't look at me and say, I want to be like him, or my team can't look at Brian, my business partner, and say, man, I, I really want to aspire to be like them, then uh, I think that that's a challenge. And so I think that that's sort of uh, something that's not spoken about often, but is something that I think is very important. Um, beyond that, it's constant growth. It's constant challenge. It's, it's constantly measuring results. It's constant interaction. And uh, we have a, a really tremendous management team who 100% buy into that ideology of you know, we're here to help you. Uh, if you're in sales, we're not going to rake you over the coals because your funnel isn't, isn't where it needs to be. But we're going to help you to develop the skills to, to drive the business for yourself. Um, you know, we're not going to sweat you down because you might have had a, made a mistake on your cash out last night. Um, but we're certainly going to help you to understand where you fell short and how to develop that. And I think it's really important for a team to see their coach, their managers, uh, the executive in the organization as being on their side. And I think all too often uh, in business, there's too much conflict, there's too much confrontation, and employees feel scared of their managers. Employees, you know, feel like they need to crawl under the desk and hide when a manager's around. And I think that that's a really important part of coaching, is making sure that the person that you're coaching really feels like you're there to support them.